In this video, I want to talk to you about OPC, Original Portland Cement, and PLC, Portland Limestone Cement, Type 1L in the USA or Type GUL in Canada, General Use Limestone. This is a product that's replacing Portland Cement and it's doing this to reduce carbon emissions. How is this going to affect you if you work with some regular Portland Cement or OPC now? and you have to switch to Portland Limestone Cement, stay tuned. There's a couple of different things I think you need to know about. <laughs> Let's talk about Portland Limestone Cement. You went to the store, you went to get some Portland Cement, and they gave you a bag of Portland limestone cement and you tried to get the other thing and they're like, no, this is what it is now. And for the store you're shopping at, that is the case. The other stuff, uh, OPC, is still widely available or at least available for now. Like in the area I live, there's two large hardware store competing chains. One still carries the original Portland cement product. One now has replaced that with this Portland limestone cement, this PLC product. And they tell you, and here's information you're probably looking for, it's just a one-to-one -one replacement. Whatever you used to use for Portland cement, you just use for Portland limestone cement. You just switch them one for one and keep doing whatever it was that you were doing. So let's dive into that a little deeper because it's not exactly true. Like on the surface level, it is true. And that is the, the, the measuring and, and scaling instructions for using PLC. It's just one-to-one -one for regular limestone or regular uh, Portland cement but there is a difference so the difference comes down to this is that the clinker product that normally is used to create Portland cement is being replaced by a small amount of additional limestone product in Portland limestone cement the whole point of this is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and replacing this limestone uh, it, for the clinker product to a small degree it gets you, nets you a 10% reduction in the carbon emissions generated during the manufacturing process of cement. Why does any of this matter? Because we use a crap load of cement worldwide. It's the most used construction material on the planet. So we just have hundreds, thousands of factories just churning out Portland cement nonstop. And by reducing the amount of the carbon footprint by 10% in such a a huge industry it's actually a very appreciable amount of reduction in carbon emissions and so that's why we've switched to this Portland limestone cement product this new product right no not at all it's not new it was developed and started being used in the 60s but it's different it's slightly different than regular cement made with uh, the regular concrete made with some, uh, Portland cement and sand and gravel they say it's not, but anybody who's worked with this stuff can tell you that it is different. So let me summarize the difference here. So yes, we've made the whole cement manufacturing process 10% more carbon friendly, but in doing so, we're changing the physical properties of this mix. You know, if we were to look at the final cure strength of the OPC and the PLC, they're actually the same. And that's kind of like the important thing, right? If we use this other product, we can get 10% more uh, carbon friendliness and we can arrive at the same conclusion in terms of a finished strength concrete, right? Good to go. Kind of. Again, the people who work with this stuff will tell you the difference between the two. If you had some concrete that you're batching, one right next to the other, you would use more water in the PLC mix than you would in the OPC mix. And the reason that you would do that is because the limestone component itself is finer. It's a finer grind than the clinker product that it replaces. And I, I mean, I can relate to this immediately. Like when I have regular Portland cement or even PLC for that matter, or white cement, that's a kind of a specialty product, but I use it a lot. The white cement is a finer grind. And as a result, if I have regular gray uh, Portland cement or PLC versus white cement, when I mix them and use them, man, do I ever notice a difference in the physical properties of the mix and 
how fast it sets up, and a bunch of different stuff that totally matters to you if you're into working with concrete professionally or doing any kind of projects where the outcome really matters to you. So we have this slightly more eco-friendly product of limestone that we're replacing. Normally the limestone component in cement is you know, one to 5%, that's the range. And commonly 3.5% is where you would find that in a bag of Portland cement. So that same limestone content in a PLC bag is all the way up to as much as 15%. That's a lot. So we've, we've augmented it a lot and it changes the color of the mix slightly. It makes it so you have to add more water to get the same consistency that you're looking for. It will have an initial set time, which is faster. And then ultimately on the 28 day scale, it will equal the same. I mean, I've read a bunch of stuff that's actually saying it might require up to a 56 day cure time for PLC, depending on the types of projects that you're doing. Like this is the thing, this, this PLC came to market because of roads in industry and things like that where we use just literally metric tons of cement components not you know for people who cast little doodads out of cement that they make on their countertop level it's people doing this that will notice the difference a lot more or another industry that i'm connected to is the swimming pool industry where we do a lot of plaster you know plaster in a concrete swimming pool is really common that's where we use a lot of this white cement and white sand component and that's where we notice a lot of it. When you change to a Portland limestone cement product, you change the initial set time, you change the strength, you change the physical properties, you change the amount of water that you need to put in it. You have to augment the mix with more cement to account for the extra water that you're, you're adding or else you're changing the water to cement ratio. Water to cement ratio is, it's like a holy grail type thing in the world of concrete strength. That is kind of the thing which defines how strong finished concrete or mortars will be. If we have this Portland limestone cement that requires us to add extra water, well, now we've changed that water to cement ratio and that ain't good. So most operators, most batch plants, most people who work with PLC now, yes, it is a more eco-friendly product, but now we're actually having to add more cement than we used to to compensate for the extra water that the PLC demands. Is this actually a good eco-friendly move? I don't know, that's an order of magnitude over my pay scale. I'm just a guy who works with this stuff. But I tell you what, when you work with it, you switch it one for one, but be careful with what you're doing. You're probably going to need to start, like in your early days when you started working with concrete and mortars for the first time, you're going to have to start some experimentations here because I do believe that you will find some differences between the PLC and the OPC in terms of how it mixes, how it works, how long it takes to get the initial set. Like if you're doing castings, the length of time that it takes for you to demold Whatever it is now with OPC or original Portland cement, it will be different once you're using a, a Portland limestone cement. And I've had some people saying that it's actually really disastrous for the casting industry in specific because what we would normally have for a minimum time before we can demold and then reuse the demolds or reuse the molds because of course in the concrete casting industry, it's really about just batching as much as you can, creating as many products as you can out of your molds. If these products have to sit longer in the molds, that's not a good thing, you know? So that's gonna severely affect the timeline at which you can create your product. And so right now, I do believe the OPC product is still available if you go looking around for it, depending on where you live. But I do believe the intention is to phase it out entirely. I know in my area, it's getting harder and harder to find. And I'm under the impression that it's going to become replaced by the Portland limestone cement product completely at some point. So at some point, that's all that's going to be available for you. Probably you just do a one-to-one -one, uh, you know, switch from uh, OPC to PLC, but likely you're gonna find that you have to start augmenting your mix in other ways. More water, more cement to compensate to keep your water cement ratio the same. You might have to change the times that you use for demolding or finishing, things like that. It's, it's changing stuff. It's not just as straightforward as it seems on the surface level. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.